Hey everyone, this week I had an issue with my SD card on my camera here. Um, I'm just using the GoPro and uh, the SD card has been giving me these errors where it tells me that there's no readable SD card and then I have to reformat the card and then I lose everything that's on the SD card itself. It happened one time, the last time I went up for a mountain run here in Beacon um, and it just happened again now on Thursday when I did my track workout. Um, and I did the tempo run, so I had kind of filmed each lap around at each pace throughout the tempo workout. And when I got home, it just, you know, the, the, the card had an error, I had to reformat it, lost that data. And then I went out for the long run over the weekend. On Saturday, I didn't get any footage because, again, the, for, the card had an issue and it actually wouldn't even film. So I just went out and got my run done. Um, and then on Sunday, I went out for my 16-mile run and the 16 mile run went fine but I just didn't even bother bringing the camera um, because of the issues that it's been having. I think it finally settled down. I'm going to have to write to GoPro because when I had first bought this camera it came with the SD card and clearly there's issues with the card that they gave me or maybe even a problem with the camera. I'm not sure but I will try and start filming again while I go out for my runs but for now I'm just going to make it a quick one just to recap the weekend. I did go out for my uh, eight mile run. Uh, went really easy on that one. I think that the pace was at or over 10 minutes a mile just to keep it nice and easy because I wanted to make sure my legs were fresh enough for the 16 mile run, which I knew was going to be hard because it was it was actually pretty humid and hot. Uh, it was it was on Sunday, which if you're on the East Coast here or in New York or you know anywhere in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, you know that uh, Hurricane Henri is here. So that kind of came and went. Uh, didn't leave too much rain for us up here, a little bit north of the city in New York. Um, but overall, it just was raining a little, then it would be hot, so the humidity in the air would just kind of pick up, and it was, you know, I don't know, I went through like two liters of water in, in a matter of the two and a half hours or so that I was running, so it was pretty brutal. Uh, so I just went out, got it done, and uh, I didn't want to waste my legs on, on that Saturday before with the eight miles, so... Overall, everything was fine, you know, again, just kind of leaving here the paces that I was running over the weekend, um, and hopefully we'll kick back into a normal, more regularly scheduled uh, video routine if I can get this camera to, to cooperate. Uh, if not, I could always use my iPhone too, uh, and that uh, tends to work just fine, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, that's just an update from the weekend uh, so far this week. All right, I'm going to make a smoothie, and then I got a four-mile tempo run today. I'm going to do it on the road, um, just to kind of do it on some hilly things instead of just the track, so we'll go out and do that in a second. It's pretty warm today, but hopefully not as humid, so we'll see how it goes. straight into the sun today. Still a thousand times better than on Saturday and Sunday when it was humid and wet. It's amazing how much the heat doesn't really matter as much as the humidity. It feels pretty good out here. I'm going faster than I was on Saturday and Sunday for sure. Um, so I'll talk about it a little more inside, but the breeze and the relief from the humidity right this moment is wonderful. I still have sweat going in my eyes though. So head back but I just wanted to point it out that no matter what the sun is doing right now, it's just the humidity that's a bother. Forty-three average, the outdoor tempo on the road. 
not too bad not too bad definitely hot but again the humidity is better so we'll see So I said it before and today we'll just keep it short um, but overall it was a good run this afternoon I went for a tempo run um, so we've done tempo runs now in this training block on the track where it was like a five minute increment every five minutes increasing the pace to around you know 5k 10k pace somewhere in between there um, so for today I just took it onto the road um, I wanted to throw in the additional kind of uh, challenges that come with you know elevation change like hills and things like that um and you know just kind of run it on some ground more more uh, aligned with what's going to be during the marathon rather than just do it as a track session today i focused more on the mile splits um rather than you know trying to focus on my watch while out on the road and you know everything like that so i just kind of broke down each mile i was like okay let me run a 9 30 mile then a nine minute mile then an 8 30 mile and then the last one I was going to push for somewhere in between like 7.45 and 8 minutes for that mile. Uh, and I ended up much closer to, to 7.45 I think than 8 minutes. So I'll throw that up here just so you can see what today's workout looked like. Um, I did do kind of a cool down separate um, once I stopped the last mile. So once I got back to my place I just uh, kind of did a little walking and then jogged a little bit just to cool down. So that was today. That was my, you know, road version of... Uh, of a tempo run instead of doing it on the track. Um, so hopefully yeah, after today I can get everything back kind of up and running with this camera. This is the GoPro that was giving me trouble the other day. Um, most of the other stuff you saw before was just shot on my iPhone so I could try and figure this out and fix it. Um, but we'll get back up to uh, you know filming more of my training regularly starting tomorrow. So uh, hopefully that works out. But I'll, uh, until then I'll see you in the next video.